similar in at least six states that we've been able to study. In other words, what we're going to describe to you with these witnesses happened in roughly the same way in Michigan, Wisconsin, Nevada, Arizona, and Georgia. The primary uh, device were the mail-in ballots. You know there was a fierce debate over whether we should have mail-in ballots in the first place. Uh, many scholars, many uh, experts always felt that mail-in ballots were very dangerous because they're very easy uh, to forge. It leads to more defrauding. Uh, we were warned by uh, Justice Souter, among others. We were warned by President Jimmy Carter and former Secretary of State James Baker in a report that they did on how to make elections more secure. They warned us that the one thing to do is do not go to general mail-in voting because every place it's been used, it's led to tremendous fraud. And uh, that was reiterated, believe it or not, in an article in the New York Times in 2012, an article they have now forgotten they wrote, uh, that explained the same, the same thing. Um, and I think what you're going to find as you study your mail-in ballot procedure here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and then in the six other places, uh, this, this was a terrible mistake. And it allowed the, the leadership of a party that had become pretty expert at voter fraud to really go wild. So the witnesses we present are going to first show you that in the case of Philadelphia and in the case of Allegheny County and one or two other counties, the mail-in ballots that were received uh, were not inspected at all by any Republican. They were hidden from Republicans. Uh, in the case of Philadelphia and Allegheny County, I can't be absolutely certain, but I do believe the witnesses will show that a Republican never got to see a single ballot. 